Welcome to Farmstead Frontier. Uh, today, I want to mow an area out here to put in a sheep pen. I want to get some sheeps. So what I'm thinking is this area over here, I'm going to mow a big, big swath and then try to build a sheep pen out there using the expandable... Um, what are they called? Two sheeps. Expandable pastures mod. Try to create our own pasture and then fence it in and... Because it gives you all these little, little bits to do. But first, I want to get the grass out of there. That'll give us uh, some sheep food to begin with and give us a decent place to build our pasture. What I'm thinking is cut in over here by these trees. And I think the larger one holds 65 sheep. So it doesn't have to be too particularly big. Or maybe what we'll do actually I want to go over here get to the level and we want to start a cut over and then we can come back and okay, we'll start basically in this corner I'll head like straight out towards the uh, towards the hedgerow from here And then once we hit the hedgerow, we'll turn and come back along the hedgerow, and this will be our pasture. So I'll go ahead, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mow this, and then I'll windrow it, we'll collect it, and I'll throw it into uh, that hay dryer there. Get it turning into hay, and then we'll, uh, and we'll build this pasture. We can turn like right here, that'll be fine. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and get this mode, wind road, and collect it up, and I'll bring you back. See you in just a minute. Well, that was easy enough. I think that'll be enough space. If not, we can always expand it in the future. I'll go ahead and park this tractor. Park it over here behind the straw barn. And we'll grab a different tractor. Get the wind rower attached. I have so many tractors. Tractor for every job. Grab this little guy. We don't need anything too particularly big for the wind rower. Drop off this sensor that we haven't used yet. Need to uh, take soil samples in that wheat field before we do any work on it. But for now, we're focusing on sheep today. If we can't afford that barn, we've got that load of straw there that I need to go sell. Hopefully that'll give us enough to afford the sheep barn and at least a few sheep to get started. 
I'll go ahead and get this wind road. Should go pretty quick. Get this wind road, and we'll get all this grass collected up and put it in this hay dryer here. Yeah, we have plenty of room for grass in there and straw. Got just a little bit of hay. Got tons of room for grass and straw. We've got 15,000 liters of hay, so that should be an alright start. And that'll just keep chugging along, making us sheep food. But, all right, I'll go ahead and get this wind right up. That's all neatly lined up. Let's go park this. And we'll get the uh, the grass into the dryer. And you might be asking, why use a dryer at all when you can just use a tatter and let the uh, grass burn into hay in the field? And there's several advantages to using the dryer. One being that you don't have to tet it, and so it's less labor intensive. You just windrow it and pick it up, and then you're done because the drying process is automated. Uh, another advantage to it is you don't have to worry about weather. If it's a rainy day or sunny or anything, the dryer's going to work regardless hay and, uh, and cure regardless of what the weather's like outside and then finally being an automated process get the perfect moisture content in your hay every time there's no no guesswork about it you don't have to uh don't have to have varying hay quality based on how much moisture is still in the hay the dryer is consistent so go ahead and get this all picked up put in there see if we need to add more straw to it because it does take a little bit of straw gotta add the grass and then a little bit of straw then the dryer uses that gives you back hay so I'll get this in there and then we'll look at the recipe and see how things are looking.
Well, with the last of the grass collected, let's go ahead and put this in here. See what we're looking like, see if we need to add any straw to it or anything. It's going in. Take a look at it. Like we got a decent amount of grass in there now. All right. Yeah, I don't think we need. We have a thousand grass plus fifty straw makes nine hundred and fifty. It'll make one hundred and forty-four thousand grass a month. Fifty times one hundred and four. Five thousand seven thousand. Yeah. I think we should have plenty in how's our wheat 51,000 years of wheat yet yeah. turn into dry wheat sell that so let's go park this and we'll see if we can't build that barn put this up here under the tree be a good spot for it I think that's actually where I got it from Oop! you can park right there Let's see what we're looking like. Price on huh? animal beeps. Big barn, ninety-seven thousand. Okay, thinking put it somewhere over this way because we'll be getting hay from there. Don't think I need to add water. I think this has an automatic waterer in it. It's my first time using it, so I don't know. But uh, let's go. Yeah, right there. Boop. Let's see. Okay, so it costs zero. Man, the pasture. Why are you red? Oh, I think I have to hit a button. Hold on. Let's just start clicking. Hey. Okay. So it's just red because it's not connected. Uh, yeah, I feel dumb now. Okay. So, let me actually get rid of it. Remove that pasture expansion. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Good to know. Alright, so, we go, that, a little bit too big, we'll do it with these, let me pick this up a little bit, wait, it's not hiding, uh, we go, stay here, and then we're basically just need to figure out where the front fence. Let me actually fence it off first. And then we can put the um mansions inside the fence. So what fence do we want? Nice white picket fence. That's not bad. That looks like an appropriate fence. Go with the nice white fence. What do we got here? I guess if we start at this corner. Is that floating? Might need to level this ground a little. <laughs> the hole. Looks like it's floating, doesn't it? Maybe it's not. Yeah, I think just this corner is. If we... 
Oh, I guess it's not. Just the way it looks. Alright. So, back to fences. Here we go. Let me put it there. Collides with another item. What about free mode? There is no free mode. Okay. How close can we get before it yells at? Yeah, there we go. Alright, that'll work. That's pretty close. Come out. A to there. Throw in. Nice gate. Barely in line. Oop. Yeah. Past the gate. Come up to the front here. Actually, here, let's go out another. Yeah, why not? And we'll bring it right up here. Come down to what we've mowed. Make a nice circle here. I think this will look nice. And bring it along the edge here. Doing like two at a time. So that it doesn't get too... Too blocky. Kind of smooth it out a little bit. Go up to like three time. Hope our sheep enjoy how much effort we're putting into beautifying their their new home. Maybe two more sections of three. Run a straight fence down to the end. Huh. Let's get over by that tree. Where are we now? Boop. Boop. Turn this down to like. This tree. Don't keep it out. Trying to make it so we don't have a whole bunch of half. Half wrap. Uh, yes, another. I want to bring it out of this. So, figure out where this. Yeah, yeah. come out like three. Put another gate in. The other way, would yeah, a 
Let's do that a different way. Demolish you. And we'll put the gate in. Just a hair closer to make sure we don't have any goofy little border fences. And fence from there to there. Nice. Then we'll bring this fence over to, say, there. Demolish these last two bits. There we go. Fence is done. Yeah, see, that'll be plenty of pasture. Now, we can just fill it in. Well, that was definitely a bit more of a struggle than I thought it was going to be. But I think I generally <clears throat> understand now how to get that done. So next time we build a pasture, we'll uh, go a little smoother. Fence back in that I had deleted earlier. We have a couple of floating pasture areas. I don't know. 
that's going to affect it or not. But we'll see. But that's generally covered. So, let's go and see how many sheep we can get. Each one of those additions added sheep onto it. Uh, where is the thing for the farm? On real quick. That's input for hay. This is for our... our uh, wool will come out. Input here. All right. 377. What is the base for that? Base is 80. 80, yeah, so expanding it definitely got us quite a few more sheep available. Now this has that texture, but this should be um, graze ready where people eat, which does no food right now, but if we put one sheep in there might end up with food because they should be able to eat the grass that's to do grazing I want to throw or it could be because I mowed it all this texture could be the same texture that's down there change the grass here rollable meadow grass could be all the rest of that Pasture as for yeah, I think that's it. Still says zero food. Got a couple of gates, so it should be easy to get in and out. If we need to. Let's buy a couple of sheep. Also get goats in here. Let's just do sheep for now. Let's do... Einschaf. Okay, let's do... Uh, I don't know. What do we got? Do a dozen of them. 2,333. We don't have a trailer, so we'll just have them delivered. And let's get... One ram that they can all have babies. Let's see what it looks like now. Yeah, so it still says zero food. Just surprising because I think the grazing, all these mods said that they worked with the grazing. But it's all right. Is what it is because we're making food over here anyway for them. So let's grab our trailer out of the barn there and deliver them some food. Uh, we can use... Where do I end up putting that John Deere? Let's use the John Deere for that. I wonder how much hay we can store in there. Probably not a ton, I wouldn't think. See, once we get 300 something sheep in there, I'm sure they'll eat a lot. Cover that. What is our tip side? Side back. Go. Right. Okay. And we should be able to the hay in this trailer, no problem, right? What are you doing here? Don't let me get hay, is that what that is? Not quite in the right spot. Start filling. Oh boy. 
Tell me I can't get my hay back out of here. No, because that takes grass. Outgoing products. Hay. Storing. Selling. Distributing. Storing. I should be able to get hay out of there. Can I not put hay in this wagon? And everything. One of them days. You ever have one of them days? Trying to do stuff and it doesn't seem to be working right. Yeah, I can put hay in there. Alright, why are you not functioning then? That's definitely the fill position. Oh, maybe I gotta get it out of the side. Maybe that's just for silage. Maybe this is where I get the hay. So we'll take grass, chaff, hay, or straw out of this. All right, that makes more sense. I thought it was weird that those are on the silage silo. Okay. I feel better about it now. I was questioning every one of my life choices here. Things continue not functioning properly. And it's not that they're not functioning properly. It's just that I don't know how to do anything. Just fumbling around. Trying my best, okay? Trying my best. Alright. Get this hay into here. I haven't seen anything. There it goes. I haven't seen anything about needing water, so I don't. I think it's got automatic water. Yeah, we need to figure out. Okay, and see, that's almost. It just turns into grass. That's fine. Uh almost full with one load. That's good to know. Surprised they can't eat hay and grass. Turns the hay into grass. That's sort of disappointing. Hay specifically to feed it to the sheep. Not that they need hay. They can eat grass anyway. But the fact that it takes the hay and turns it back into grass when we put it in there, that, that's kind of disappointing. <clears throat> You and I know it's hay. How about that? That's fine. We know that it's hay. Alright. Well, that's been a lot of me fumbling around all day. So let's get this parked. I think we're going to call that a day. We got more to do, but... Not today. I do want to sell that load of straw. Um, thing's almost full of straw. We could... How much did we have in here? Significant amount, right? 133,000. We'll do 144,000 a month. I'm going to say we could start making silage. You know what? Let's turn on the silage too. We'll activate that. Then we'll have the hay turn into hay. Feeding the sheep. Silage for selling. Our wheat's doing good. That'll be done next month. We can go sell dried wheat. We also have to work on our field. We need to get it sampled, cultivated, or figure out how to fertilize it. Um, I want to plant corn. So we've got all winter to mess with it. Unless we plant wheat on it again. Then... Build a new because we have a whole lot of land. Got all this land back. All of this. Yeah. Basically, up to the tree line, wherever you can see. So, what we could do, we could uh, maybe even. Cut down that field a little bit. 
and plant a new cornfield tomorrow here. I would. Be quite as big as that. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll work on it. Mow the rest of this grass at some point. Get that put in there. Make it into hay. I don't think we're going to do a grass field as of yet. You can take so much of the wild grass. Yeah, yeah. Lots to do. Lots to do. We also got to get a bear unloading auger bear. Got, I got one to load into the rain dryer here. But we need one to unload from that in. But yes, that's all the things. So many things. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching me fumble around trying to make this sheep pen. Now we have a nice big nice big sheep pen. A pretty little sheep. Hang out with our sheep. Hello sheeps. Hope you're having fun. I hope you're having fun. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.